Hi, this is Karen from Cardio Golf, and I'm coming to you from the future Cardio Golf soundstage where I'm going to record all of my Cardio Golf workouts for my online subscription. You can start a free trial at CardioGolf.com. So today we're going to continue with our Cardio Golf Challenge where we're doing an exercise every day to work on our golf and fitness. Today we're using the Shorty Club. This club is short so that you can swing inside. You're not going to hit the ceilings or the walls. You're not hitting shots with this, so you're going to be able to rehearse your swing position and get that ingrained so when you go to the golf course, those positions will feel natural. I'm also using my Cardio Golf Slope. You know how I use this. It's a regular fitness step, but we also use it for golf drills. So today we're going to talk about the takeaway, and the takeaway sets up your entire swing. You know, it's really uh, good to practice what you're trying to do at impact, but your takeaway will help you be, get into a better impact position. So if your takeaway is off, then your body has to do something on the downswing to compensate. So you want to make sure your takeaway is correct. So we're using the cardio golf slope as an alignment tool. You can see here that my feet, my knees, my hips, my shoulders, even my eye line are parallel to where I want the ball to go. And when you swing, you want to swing down your target line so you don't want to be set up like this and have to do something to come over the top or set up like this and compensate. So make sure your alignment is correct. Now from here to work on the takeaway, think of your cardio golf slope as the path of your club head. So as you swing back here, you can see I'm making a nice turn and a nice wide takeaway so the club head tracks over the green part of the slope. So you can see the start of the swing is a little motion towards the back as I swing my arms and then eventually I hinge my wrist and boom, I get into the top of the back swing. Where people go wrong is they don't have that little motion with their lower body, they don't use their core and they end up just whipping the club too far inside so you can see the club head is not tracking over that green part or they just end up lifting like this. So you can see if you do it correctly, this little motion right here, look how the club head tracks over the green part and then boom, there's the top of your swing. So don't let the club whip inside like this or don't pick it up like this. Just use a nice little motion to start the club. All right, then when you practice, you want to boom, swing it over your path at the top of the swing. So practice this takeaway right here, keeping the club on plane and in front of you as you swing back. Don't let it go inside and don't pick it up like this. I promise you, if you work on that and it feels comfortable, then when you go play a practice, you'll get into a good position at the top of your swing and you won't have to think about it. That's our cardio golf challenge for today. Come back tomorrow for another exercise.